Hey, hey, y'all. Today I'm making a nostalgic recipe, mom's tuna casserole. You're going to need some extra wide egg noodles, some nor chicken bouillon or whatever you have, some milk. I have 2%, but you can use whatever you have on hand, a can of tuna I have in oil, but you can also use in water if you prefer. Then you're going to need a can of the cream of mushroom condensed soup. And get yourself an eight by eight baking dish. On the stove, I have some water boiling. So get yourself a saucepan and start boiling your water. You're going to add in about a tablespoon of your chicken bouillon to that water. That water is gonna make um, your pasta taste really yummy. That chicken flavor is going to soak into your egg noodles and just give it a really yummy taste. So don't leave that out. And so the water is going to get back to boiling. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in our egg noodles. So you're going to add in about half of that bag. And then it's going to get back to boiling. You're going to let it get back to boiling and let it cook until it's either parboiled enough where it's like half boiled or all the way cooked. I prefer my pasta very soft. So I'll let it get all the way cooked, but if you parboil it, it'll still bake and cook in the oven when you put everything in the oven. So there's my pasta boiling, it smells so good. Meanwhile, you can go ahead and get your eight by eight baking dish. And at the bottom of that, go ahead and put in your cream of mushroom soup and your tuna. So go ahead and also drain that oil or the water out of your tuna. And just put that right into your baking dish. If y'all don't like tuna, I wouldn't recommend watching this video. I know that some people are very sensitive to tuna and don't really like to smell it, eat it, or even look at it. I know my husband's that way. And so tonight my husband's out on um, a meeting. So my daughter and I will enjoy this. This is a recipe that I grew up eating and I really like it. It just reminds me of home and my daughter really enjoys it as well. So it's kind of a treat for us tonight. And so next we're going to add in our milk. You can find all of the actual measurements in my description. You will have the recipe in there for you to look at. So go ahead and just mix it all in. It's gonna create sort of like a sauce. It should be like a semi runny sauce of your cream of mushroom soup, your tuna and your milk. I forgot to mention, if you have any seasonings that you like to add, go ahead and get those ready. I have some salt and pepper. That's usually the only thing that I add. I know some people like to add in um, onion powder, but that's up to you. So go ahead and just mix that until it's all mixed uniform. And so I like to add a lot of pepper to mine. It just gives it a really, really good flavor, but you're just gonna add it to your taste. So lots of pepper in there, and you're gonna add in a little bit of salt, but the cream of mushroom soup is already Pretty salty, so you won't need a whole lot, just a little bit here and there to sprinkle in. And your pasta has also soaked up some of that chicken bouillon, so it's very flavorful already. So this is what it looks like. Um, again, if you don't like tuna, it probably looks pretty gross to you, but it is just like a sauce, okay? So it'll be that consistency of like a sauce. And so that's everything there mixed together. I like to get that ready to go while my pasta is boiling on the stove. And that way when my pasta is done cooking, I can just go ahead and put it right in. So get your pasta out of the stove and drain all of the water and liquid out of it. And the next thing you're going to do is just pour that pasta right into that 8x8 baking dish. You're going to incorporate all of the um, sauce that you've created onto your pasta so just kind of mix it and you know kind of fold it in it likes to kind of hide in the corners so make sure that you've gotten all of that pasta um, kind of covered in that sauce because that sauce is really going to let it get creamy and it's also going to help it bake a little bit more and cook a little bit more if you didn't cook your pasta all of the way so make sure that you're mixing all of that together it's starting to smell so good in the kitchen. 
do y'all ever eat a tuna casserole or is there a homestyle casserole that you grew up eating comment down below what's your favorite casserole what'd you grow up eating this is the casserole that i remember the most and it's also the one that my daughter likes to request when we go visit her grandmother so this is my mom's tuna casserole all right so this is what it looks like when i've mixed all of that sauce and into that pasta and it's really covered all of my pasta that's what it'll look like and you can see some of that sauce is still wanting to hide in the corners but that's okay go ahead and spread your pasta all throughout that eight by eight baking dish to where it's evenly spread and you're going to want to set your oven um, to preheat at 350 degrees um, other people like to put cheese on it. I actually do like to put cheese on mine, so that's up to you. You can add some cheese right now if that's something that you like. I'll add that as optional into my description recipe. All right, so my oven is preheated. I'm going to go ahead and put in my tuna casserole straight into the oven, 350 degrees for 15 minutes. There it is, it's all done. It's been 15 minutes, so it's ready to come out of the oven and this is what it looks like it doesn't look a whole lot different than it did a little bit earlier but it has thickened up a bit and it's still very very creamy it's so yummy y'all we're gonna go ahead and have this for dinner my daughter and i so i can't wait to have this with her tonight i hope that y'all like this recipe if you did give me a like a heart comment down below i'll catch you on the next video with another recipe thank you so much for watching